I'm so angry, it's hard to function. Won't care. <laughs> oh, sh here we go again. I'm having such large emotions inside my body that I am trying to hold them all in so I don't have an ex it's I'm I want to explode. I'm so upset. It feels like my chest is going to like cave in a little bit. I had to pull over. I'm trying to use my coping skills. I'm so upset. I've been at the RMV for two and a half hours. Longer. Trying to replace my ID. It's so wild to be having such a huge emotions, but the medicine is so, it grips my physical so tightly that I can't even explode. This would be the closest thing that, to an explosion. But it's like, I can feel it inside. I'm very upset. I'm very, 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 very angry. It's such a scary thing to feel so angry. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. Do the hard things, we can do it. I'm so upset and angry and frustrated at myself, at the world, at the systems. I'm having what could probably be like a panic, anger, anxiety attack. I've been at the RMV for hours. I'm so tired. I have to go back because they're on their lunch break and I have to go back and I have to finish this because I have, this is, I can't, I'm so tired. My wallet is gone. Whether that be taken or lost, Something that I love, I treasured, I decorated, I picked out, I had it. I don't know if someone took it or if I lost it, but it's like, that's the reality I have to live in again. And when you have ADHD, it's something that happens a lot. You lose your stuff a lot. And I feel like I've been getting better at that. I feel like I've had that wallet for a really long time and I'm really bummed that I fucked up again. It's like so annoying to fuck up again, bro. You inconvenience people and you slow everybody down and all the processes and it's like, oh, and everyone's trying to travel and be busy this summer and I can't like get things done and like. <sighs> Your service has been temporarily. We're sorry. All circuits are busy. Please try again late. I sure do cry a lot in this car. <laughs> all right, I'm a big girl. All right, I'm a bi I'm a big girl. I lost my wallet, and there's a long process in getting all of those documents and 
files and pieces of information that were in the wallet back so you know the debit card it's like my bills are gonna hit my account through my debit card that's been canceled because I'm waiting for the next one to come and I have that expedited and that cost money but when will that come I don't know and our mailman is different every time so who knows <laughs> And so I'm waiting for that. And I know that bills are gonna be backing up and hitting and I'm gonna be getting emails where it's like, you're, you're not paying your bills. And it's like, I'm so stressed, you know? And I'm also getting ready for like a big move. So it's like, I needed my debit card and I needed my ID to like keep the flow going. But also it's like, I'm coping through the mistake. <sighs> but I'm holding it together. I have a big event happening this weekend at my nine to five job. I cracked the windows just to get some air and some like breath and some like, I know it's like loud, but I could hear a bird and I like felt a little bit healed. It's just like I'm in unfamiliar territory. I had to drive far to get this appointment at the RMV because everyone near me was closed and like I just was stressed trying to get here so now i'm in a foreign area and it's you know very much predominantly white older people and i'm just like can somebody please help me i'm dying i don't know how to be an adult please help me at the rmv and actually the people are very nice it's just like <sighs> i needed to like have something and i it's just like i need i wasn't prepared basically it comes down to i wasn't prepared i didn't understand the rules of the game i brought a stack of paperwork I brought a stack of paperwork to prove that I'm me and I still somehow f***ed it up. It's like, I, because when you lose your ID, you need your ID to get your money and you need your money to get your license and you need, it's like, do you understand? It's like everything's connected. It's very hard to be an adult. Oh my God, bro. I just want to get on my vacation. I'm going on a vacation eventually and I want to get there. So I'm going to go back to the RMV and I'm going to, I'm gonna finish this. I'm not gonna cry in the car. I'm tired, but I'm not giving up. It was hours. I was there for hours trying to figure this out with someone. Damn, bro. It's like I also inconvenienced somebody else who's close to me. Who, like my family and friends pick up the slack when I f up, and that's hard. I can imagine that's hard. But also, I help them. I think that's family and friendship. But it's also like I just feel like such a burden. I don't know. My brain, my ADHD brain has a hard time in this society, bro. Borderline personality disorder. Hi, I'm Borderline Belle. Welcome to my show. I'm doing a hard thing. I just left the RMV. I lost my wallet and I'm going to get a new one. And I'm going to get a new license and I'm going to be, uh, and I'm going to get out of here, you know. Anyway, I'm doing the hard thing. <laughs> I was so mad though. I'm still so mad that this has just been such a difficult process. Like absolutely Murphy's Law. Everything that could have went wrong, like went wrong. And it did over and over again. It was exhausting, it was crazy. Every time I turned around and go like, wow, that's never gone wrong. That's crazy. Get back in line. Sorry, you have to go back in line. You have to, and you have to, and I had to, and I'm, okay, I'm gonna do my best and try. What else can I do? I have therapy today that will heal me. And the next video, I'll probably look healthier. Maybe I'll be in gym clothes. Who knows? But it's like, it's okay that this sucked up so much time. I learned so many lessons about myself. Like, I have to do better. I have to do better. And I, I just, can I encourage you to do better too, bestie? It's like, let's try to do the hard things. If, if there's some paperwork or some ID or some hanging, like, adult responsibility, God, I know it sits on our necks and our backs and our shoulders and it hunches us, you know? Like, hang in there, bro. It's like crazy. But I believe in you. Like, let please understand that every mistake you make, it like gets you closer to to being better at it. I guess. What the f I hope. I know for you. I hope for me. Okay. Oh no! All right. I love Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat. I think I'm gonna start a Snapchat thing. I don't know. All right. Bye.